Good evening, everyone. My name is Seath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Play... Oh, no, this isn't a Let's Play. This is Lumber Tycoon 2 with my main character, with the actual Code Primate. What's up, everyone? Looks like, yikes, it's Aiden followed me in. Uh, a couple other people might have followed me in, but that's awesome. I am going to attempt to play on um, public server today, and we are still building um, the laboratory. So let's build up the laboratory. Um, two. We're just gonna get straight into it. I mean, this is this is build time. We are building, building, building. We're just gonna go as fast as I can, and I want to get at least the first floor built. If I can get the first floor built, I'm gonna do some some uh, logic. And that's what I'm hoping for because logic is amazing. Um, logic is the circuits that make up the components inside a computer like with transistors and circuits and resistors and CPUs and chips and stuff like that. But the basic concept of it is everything works off logic and switches um, or switches, stuff like that. This is not gonna be enough. That's like 6%, uh, put that down. Um, let's see, how many does this need? It needs 14, goodness. All right, let's do this. Do I have something to measure 14 out with? I don't. Um, let's see. That's about... Good. Will that work? 65%. Darn. All right, can we just lean that up against the thingy like this? Hold on. Lean that up like that. And then grab some of this like that. 96. Oh, actually, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have built this on the ground first and then filled it in later. 96%. Hello. <laughs> I feel some lag. Right, am I feeling the lag? Is there green behind me? I don't know. Maybe there is. Come on. Boom. There we go. Sweet. That was amazing. All right, and that's 43%. We're just, we're just gonna fill these all in. We're just gonna go as fast as we can. I'm sure this one's like more than enough to fill one in. Yeah, that was, that was big. That was huge. Are you recording? Yes, yes I am. I'm in a really good mood because I had a really good stream and I've got I've got some awesome admins. I just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for like keeping the Discord locked down and safe for everyone. Like you guys do an amazing job. And um, I have made all my admins um, um, moderators on the YouTube stream. So you now have additional abilities. Let's see, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Nice. <laughs> I'm one of your biggest fan. Thank you, Dark Knight 45. What's up? Yikes. Dude, that shirt is amazing. Fan. I'm one of your biggest fans. Hello, Dark. And hello, A S A D Xbox Gamer. Xbox Gamer. Nice. Um, by the way, your Xbox accounts and your um, Roblox accounts. They do link. Like, you can link them together. Do you need anything? I'm not. Not really. Just trying to build my workshop. Uh, it's not a workshop. Uh, my, my laboratory. Laboratory. Because laboratory implies that we're going to be doing experiments in there, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing with wires and logic and things like that. Please take this gift. Uh, what gift? Oops, oops. Completely missed that one there. Uh, I should probably like lift this and take this in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Boop. 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 So, um, real quick. Um, somebody. Who was it? I can't remember who it was. Anyhow, 
um, Gamer Mom was having a problem with... Was it Gamer Mom was having a problem? It might have been Baby Girl. I think it, it, it was Baby Girl. So Baby Girl was having a problem where um, the wood detector was not detecting the wood that was placed in there. And one of the problems that I found was um, she had pine wood and she had fir wood. They look identical. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dark. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do you mean, no? What happened? What did you do? Did you glitch out one of the cars? Where where did he go? I don't know where he's at. That's okay. Anyhow, um, we tested it and we found that she had pine wood in one and fir wood in another. So when you're doing the wood detectors for your like your sorting, if you're building that sorter like I made, um, do be sure that you're not using fir and pine because they are two different kinds of wood. They are not the same. Um, I don't know that I did that on mine. I think I did fur and and the other one in the same sense. So uh, let's do this one right there. Oh no, 92%. So close. So close, but no end times X. There we go. Do 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 do. Put up, put up, put up, put up. Building, 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 building. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to get this done. Like, oh gosh, sorry. A hard hat zone. Definitely, definitely a hard hat zone. All right, so this should be two, four, six, eight. This should be eight units right here. Four and four is eight. A little bit less than eight units. So. Six, six units of wood right here, possibly. Oh no, it wasn't enough. All right, but we'll stick that on top like that. Then we'll jump back down here like this and then cut off just a sliver right here at the end. Can you sign my base? Uh, I can afterwards. Code question mark. Uh, sorry, I'm not talking in chat. I'm Trying to work on a video. Feel free to say hello. Oh my gosh. Did you that was amazing. Oh. Alright, I will pick these up real quick. Hold on. Oh no, I can't. I can't. I'm not whitelisted, dude. I'm, I'm not whitelisted. I'll have to do it here in a second. Do 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 do. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so there's two fire axes, two candy axes, candy cane axe, sorry, and a rookie. Thank you, dude. Hugs! 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 Thank you. Oh gosh, what happened? I'm like in a box. Do you see that? Oh, and you can see the green screen behind me. It disappeared. What was that? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just chop off the end right here. A couple of things that have been going on. Um, March. 18th or 13th or something like that um, there's been rumors of um, Jane Doe John Doe and people have been saying oh those are the hackers that took them down blah 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 no they're not okay Jane Doe and John Doe were originally um, the developers when Roblox first started there were not enough players so when a player would go into a game there would only be like one person inside that game. The developers created accounts called Jane Doe's and John Doe's, and they had like numbers after the names and stuff like that. Basically, so the players would have somebody to play with. And it was part of their job. Like if they were working on parts of the game or working on parts of the clients and stuff like that, they would literally drop what they were doing to go play with the, the players. So it was, it was integrated as part of their job. Now, 
um, as time progressed and more and more people got on there, they didn't need to log in. So Jane Doe and John Doe kind of went bye-bye to the wayside. <clears throat> so the original John Doe, Jane Doe thingies, users, for some reason along the lines got turned into this, oh, they're the hackers. They're the originals. Um, the way I found this out is if you go look like who was the first Roblox players, you can go back in and find that that story. And I mean, it's Roblox that posted the story and they're the ones that explained it all. But for some reason, it's just become this whole like, oh my gosh, they're hacking and stuff like that. So um, do whatever you want. If you don't want to play on March 18th or whatever it is, don't play if you're that afraid of it. But I'm going to be playing and even if they were hacking, like, what are they going to do? Like, there's not too much inside the game itself that could be affected. Even if they were to destroy me and destroy my entire base and destroy everything that's on there, I'm still going to get my base, like, I'm, I'm still going to get my account back. So, just don't fall prey to the fear. Because that's what's happening right now. There's a ton of people retweeting and shouting out and giving this thing fuel, which makes no sense to me. So, I'm not going to buy into it. And I suggest that you don't either. But, again, I do not want to influence your opinions about what it is, because Hero Brian is an awesome myth. But that's exactly what it is. It's a myth. Watch, next time I log into Minecraft, there's going to be Hero Brian standing in front of me. I'm going to be like, I'm sorry, Hero Brian. I didn't mean it. I promise. Oh, gosh. Code, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Code, I'm so sorry. What? Why? Why are you sorry? Don't be sorry. Have fun and play. Live long. Uh... The Heath stick? What? Oh. <laughs> the Heath bars. Okay. Dude, it's not a problem at all. Don't even worry about it. That thing falls down all the time. It'll fall down even when I'm on private server by myself. It just tends to fall. So, you're good. Here. If it'll make you feel better, I'll come over here and I'll pick it up, okay? There you go. All better. It's fixed. Give me money, please. Says Assassin Guy 09. Ta-da! There you go, buddy. Yeah, come on up. Come on. It's all good. Like I said, this thing falls down multiple times and this was like a really good idea that I was going to do which was going to be an obby across the top but I have since ended that <laughs> not probably not gonna happen anytime soon okay no more distractions let's go we got to we got to build 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 so these two by twos are working out pretty well if I cut them in half right here which does take a little while but at the same time, it's amazingly easy to just grab one, throw it up, boom, grab one, throw it up, and boom, done. Ooh. Wait, was that there before? I don't know if that was there before. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that one. We're just going to stick it on right there. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Bold and brash. Bold and <laughs> awesome. Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, again, just a suggestion. Um, I love the gifts and I love the fiery gifts, like the axe gifts and the eyes and stuff like that. But if you do... Thank you. Hugs! If you do logic for Code Primate, that would be like, I, on a scale of one to 10, I would say it would be two times better than regular gifts because the eyeballs are great, but the eyeballs are used to go and get times in times wood and stuff like that. 
Like, I've got eyeballs and, and presents and everything galore. Wires and neons. Wires and neons. I would take a ton of those. Oh, don't be mad, Yaxid Zayden. He's mad about the, uh, uh, the what's it, the bold and brash being the prize. I think it was like a really innovative gift. <clears throat> now, when I found out that it was a Squidward painter, I was a little upset. I was like, what? What is SpongeBob doing in here? Seriously, this is Lumber Tycoon 2. SpongeBob's not here. But then I was all like, oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I started singing the song. Everybody sing along with me too. Stop my bass. All my axes are gone. Zoop. Boop. Ba -doop, ba -doop. Oh, excuse me. Bring this over here. Boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, doop, doop. I don't even know what song that is. It's a classical song, right? I can't remember. I need to get in, back into the rhythm, back into the rhythm, back into the rhythm. There we go. Boink. Uh, oh, 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 not that. I want to do tool, large tiles. This is actually working out really fast tonight. It's amazingly fast. Oh, snap. Oh, are we going to get it finished tonight? Oh, this is going to be amazing. We're halfway through the episode, and I'm almost done with the lab. I might be able to do experiments next episode. I might be able to do experiments at the very last of this episode. But I do want to fill this bottom half with just tons and tons of logic. Excuse me, Aiden. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh gosh, I can't get it to stick. Ooh. <laughs> not only do I not like the bold and brash, but I do not like the people who made me not like it. Oh, you don't like Defaultio? I love Defaultio. Defaultio is amazing. Josh, if you're watching, you're awesome. If I just had like half the skills that he has and the patience to make the games that he makes. Genius, pure genius. I did send him an article that I found about <clears throat> an experiment involving not time travel, but relevance, time relevance. And I hope he read it because it was an experiment that was performed back in 1975 proving that um, time was relevant. The faster you go, time slows down. It was done with atomic clocks, too. I think they were Hewlett Packard atomic clocks. Basically, the idea was theorized by Einstein that the faster you move, the slower time moves. Like, time slows down. And what they did to experiment with this is they had <clears throat> three atomic clocks, they were all synchronized. And they sent one, um, one plane in one direction around the Earth, and it was really fast. It was like a thousand kilometers per hour or five hundred kilometers per hour. It was, it was enough relevance to make a one trip around the Earth. And when they got back, they found that the clocks were out of sync. And when they readjusted the clocks so they were back to the original times, they were still running at the same speeds. So, I don't know the, the whole details of everything. Thank you for the end times wood. Thank you. Where did you go? Where'd you go? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I said thank you or not. Anyhow, um, basically they found that moving faster, time did slow down. And that to me is amazing. Because that means that we were we have a measurable difference in moving faster, time is slowing down. Which doesn't mean that we can move backwards in time, but we could slow ourselves down enough that we could... Basically, if I went fast enough 
I would slow myself down enough that I would end up in the future because everything else would progress around me. Now, I don't think there's any way to reverse that effect, but what if you wanted to go forward 10 years and still be the same age? Like, there's so many other questions that were, were raised by the experiment actually working. But I will leave that for the universities and the scientists and the, the, the big wigs, the very smart peoples to do. Code, 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 code. No distractions, no distractions. Yes. Uh, did you blacklist me from the stick of Heath? Oh. No. I didn't blacklist you. I'm recording. Please forgive me for not responding. Trying to build my lab for this episode. <laughs> Hi, YouTube, says Michael. Uh, okay, I got one more to do right here, and then we'll keep going. I'm recording too, says Dark Knight. Nice, dude. Shout out to D Dark Knight. Oh, wait, he can't hear me. He's not recording my sound. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. See, and that's, that's another part of the whole ADHD thing. <clears throat> like, being able to contemplate the, uh, Speed, uh, the, the what is it? The uh, time-space continuum, but not being able to realize that he can't hear me in the video, in his video, because we're he, he doesn't have my voice. Never mind. Ah, oh, silly, just silly. Oh, oh, wait, is that not? Excuse me. Don't stand on it. Hold on, get in there. Why is it not getting in there? Nice and easy. Guys, guys, guys. Back up, please. Back up, please. Back up, please. Back up, please. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I might actually be too close. Oh, gosh. It's not letting me set it down. Okay. Is this being a problem? Are you in the way? There we go. Let's try that. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. It's wanting to appear on the bottom. That's not... It's not working right. Hold on. Do I need to turn, turn, flip? Turn, turn, flip. Rotate, rotate. Turn, turn. There it went. Yay! <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you, thank you for the big box. Thank you. Alright, I need to... Oh, uh, turn, turn. Come on, please, please. There it goes. Sweet. And oh, right in there. Come on. Oh gosh. Ooh, got it. Nailed it. And one more here. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> come on, come on, guys. We almost got this. Almost got this. Got it. And... Ah. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Nailed it. Nice. Okay. Right there. This one's going to be easy because I'm going to be able to go off the top of this thing. Oh, gosh. Maybe. Uh, rotate, rotate. There. And last one. Perfect. Done! Oh, I'm so happy. Right now. I'm so happy. 
clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Like a room without a blueprint. Ooh. Clap along if you feel. Ooh, there we go. Because I'm laboratory. Zoo. Almost got it done. Almost got it done. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Smacking people in the face. Hard, hard hat zone. Hard hat zone. Union break. Oh, are you setting those up on the side there? That is awesome. Uh, I will probably move them out of there. That's going to be all for logic and for um, uh, experiments. Wires, neons, stuff like that. Oh, gosh, guys. The lag. The lag for realsies. Like, crazy, crazy amounts of lag. Hmm. Chop that into. Chop that into. Chop, chop, chop. My favorite food is chicken tenders and fires. Oh, fries. By the way, one of my my son's favorite foods are uh, chicken nuggets and French fries. Uh, he also likes spaghetti and pizza. Uh, he does not like sandwiches, like with with ham, ham sandwiches, or. Any kind of meat. Like, I think the only meat my son eats is pepperoni, which is awesome because I love pepperoni too. <laughs> done. Almost done. Almost done. We are almost done. We are the champions, my friend. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Sorry, I'm, I am no queen. I cannot sing that song. We are the champions. We are the champions. <coughs> Grab this one here. Is this the last one? Is this the last one? Oh, oh goodness. This is the last one. Okay. Thank you all for coming today at the final build of the Code Primate Labs Laboratory. I would like to document this monumentous occasion with a raising of the axes. Please raise your axes to commemorate this moment. Com commemorate. Commemorate? Raise your axes. Fourth. Any axe is fine. You should be fine. Everyone, raise your axes in honor, in glory, in choppiness. As we chop, 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 for awesome, forsooth. Let us raise the final piece. Oh. Oh, wait, was that the last one? Yes! Glorious! We did it! We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. So amazing. Oh, did that not go up last time? There. Let's uh, stick this up there like that. Zoop. Can I just come straight across like this? Or should I not? Maybe I shouldn't. Finished. Boop. Maybe I should like... Okay. I am definitely going to go get more of those. Because I want fluorescent lights all inside this thing. And then I can start building some logic and some awesomeness. But for now, we've only got one minute left. So let's, uh, let's all gather on the roof. Gather on the roof! Everyone, up here, up here. Oh, I still got a piece here. Hold on. I'll drop this down. Zhiboom. Gather. Selfie. 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 Uh, let's, this way. This way. Like this. Uh, it doesn't look like much of a laboratory, but it does just look like a box. <laughs> Photobomb. <laughs> There's no photobomb. 
I'm inviting you. Everyone, come. Jump next to me. Let's do this. All right, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six people in the server. Excellent. Uh, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Cycling through all the. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tech Into with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, building my excellent, awesome laboratory um, known as Code Primate Labs. Um, yeah. Next episode, we're going to be making some logic. So thank you for watching this, this awesome build um, up until this point. <laughs> He's all like, are we done yet? So... Yeah, I gotta go grab some logic and throw it inside here, right? And then uh, I will probably do a little bit of base cleanings and just basic general maintenance of my base because it's been neglected just a tad bit. Not, not saying that it isn't awesome, because I mean, it's still awesome. But um, yeah, I've got other ideas like the quad saw. I would kind of like to get it out of the middle of the base, maybe off to like one of the sides or something like that, and then start building like a warehouse or something on the inside that goes up to like some other things. Tons of ideas. And I've said this before, like my ideas will come and go and I probably won't follow through on some of them, but I mean, it happens, right? So on final note, don't be afraid of the March 18th thing happening. Um, be nice to everyone and thank you guys for watching me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. No pressure, only if you want to. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. Bye.